Hello, Matthew Williams here, just bringing you a video to talk about my qualifications. Somebody on YouTube asked me, he said, he said, you're definitely brave. I've seen a lot of silly people in my time, but you don't fit the description. Well, that's a very nice thing for you to say. He says, please let me know if you have any lectures lined up in the UK in 2013. No, because I'm not exactly uh, well at the moment and not being well means I'm not doing anything at the moment until I get myself a little bit more better because I just really haven't got a lot of energy my dog's just died and have I got anything planned no nothing there's no plans there's no plans till I get I get myself a little bit better I'm not feeling very well you know I just need to s decide what I'm doing where I'm going what's happening um, otherwise you know, I'm liable to burst. <sighs> That's the bottom line. Because I've already started kicking off when I saw a farmer today, right, up the way. And he was fucking there with his tractor on the side of the road, right? And he was going up there with a fucking big, <sighs> fucking scraping off, scraping off the fucking hedges. You know, and taking down the hedges that had nothing wrong with them. They were not interfering with the road. They were not sticking out into the road. They were doing nothing wrong. These hedges had done fuck all wrong to anybody. But Mr. Farmer has decided he's bored. So you can go out with his big John Deere fucking tractor. With his big fucking strimming fucking flailing device. And he's just going to go and take off the fucking hedges. And I stopped him. I stopped him and I said, oi, come here. Come here, matey boy. And he went, what? And I said, what are you doing with these hedges? He said, what's it got to do with you? And I said, I'll tell you what it's got to do with me. I'm asking the question, what are you doing with these hedges? He said, why do you want to know? I said, I'll tell you what I want to know. Because it looks to me like you're cutting these fucking hedges with not a very good fucking reason to be doing it. Yeah? That's why I want to know. I said, look, matey, right? Are you a farmer? And he went, yeah. He goes, yeah, we own the farm. We own this land. You own this land. You own the land, do you? Own it, as in ownership, as in it belongs to you. I'd like to see the paperwork. Yeah, I'd like to see a piece of paper that says you own this land, because a lot of people reckon they own this land around right here, and most of it's owned by the fucking Queen. There are very few people who actually own the land. But like a lot of them, they think they own the land, and they think they've got to tend the fucking land, right? What that usually involves is lots of chemicals and lots of fucking destruction. Yes? So I said, look, I'm sorry, mate. I don't think uh, what you're doing here is very good because these hedges support animals and small birds. And they need to be there, right, for people right, to fucking enjoy the countryside because there are more animals in the countryside. And if you go buzzing them up with your fucking flailer, yeah... And basically, you ruin it for everybody, including the animals, aren't you? And he said, you don't know what the law is. The law is, I can do this, it's my land. And I said, I don't give a fuck what the law says. I'm telling you that what you're doing is wrong. And he said, why is it wrong? I said, because it's bad for the fucking environment. Yes? You don't know what I do. I do loads of good for the environment. I said, what, like sticking chemicals on the land? Which go into the water table, right? And then people end up drinking and getting cancer? Yeah. Is that what you're doing, which is good for the environment? Oh, you're one of those, are you? He said, you're one of those. Well, yes, I'm one of those with my Sea Shepherd hat on and my Sea Shepherd jacket on. I said, I'm one of those. I said, look, what's your name? I don't tell you my name. What's your name? Well, my name is. See the registration of my car there? Right. Yeah. Look at the face. Right. Look at the face. Because I know where you live, but you don't necessarily know where I live. Yeah? But I know where you live, and I'm not very fucking happy with you doing this, right? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to check out what you say is the law. He said, it is the law. It is the law. I've got three years, three years that I'm not supposed to do it. I can do it not for two years, but once in three years I can cut these hedges. And I said, but why do you want to do it at all, you ass? Why do you want to do it at all? You are fucking making a mess this is a fucking mess you're making here it's like saying i'll cut down a tree because it needs to be cut down and you go why are you cutting it down well it's the fucking needs to be done what it needs to be cut down really are you planting any 
because you're cutting it down, but are you planting any to replace it? Yeah. What are you like? Yeah. And he goes, I'm not talking to you. And I said, well, mate, I tell you what, right? Think about it. Right. Think about what you're doing here, because it doesn't seem to make a lot of sense to me. And I'm going to check into the laws on this because you reckon you know the law better than me. I know the law quite well. And what I know is that farmers are supposed to keep these hedges maintained as hedges because they're good for the wildlife. And what you're doing is just fucking around with your tractor and your flailer because you're a bit bored at the moment, aren't you? And you're spending a bit of diesel money and you're just going, look at me, I'm the farmer, look at me. Up the fucking road, yeah? And I said, mate, I'm trying to tell you to fuck off back home and do something more productive, yeah? So that's what I had today. Anyway, somebody asked me whether I'm doing any lectures in 2013. No, I'm not. I'm not doing any fucking lectures in 2013 because I would rather do YouTube videos and I would rather do TV shows on the Internet. Why? Because it gets a bigger audience and it means I don't have to burn petrol to go giving lectures in places. They're going to burn petrol and hurt the environment. Yeah. So they don't have to give me my expenses, my petrol money. I don't have to spend time on the road with people who are trying to fucking run me off the road and kill me. Right. Which fucking pisses me off and gives me panic attacks. Right, because of the fucking arseholes that live on the road, yeah? Discourteous, discourteous wankers on the fucking road who try to kill you. Right? So, no, I don't like giving lectures anymore unless it's absolutely fucking necessary. And all those people who say, stop swearing, fuck off. My YouTube channel, don't like it, fuck off somewhere else. Right? That's the way it is. Dot com. Cunt, ass, fuck, shit, bollocks, tits, wank, girls, fuck, ass, tits, bollocks, tits, girls, wank, ass, fuck. Yeah? My YouTube channel. Yeah? You want to you wanna do a YouTube channel where you speak the Queen's English very nicely and you are very polite and very, very sedate? That's up to you. That's not me. I'm Welsh. Right? And where I come from, right, where I come from, fuck is the... Is the every second fucking word. Yeah, this is how people talk where I come from, right? And I'm not messing you about. It's like this. Fucking hell, boys. Are we going to go get some fucking chips or what? I'm fucking starving. Let's get some fucking chips because I fucking... I tell you what, if I don't have some fucking chips soon, I'm going to fucking... I am. I'm going to fucking... I'm going to fall... I'm going to fall over because I'm fucking starving. Come on, boys. For fuck's sake. Right? That's how people talk where I come from. Yeah? So, if you don't like how I talk, then I class you as a racist. So, you don't want to be called a racist, do you? Because you can be arrested for that these days. <laughs> you can be arrested for that. And you can have your fucking Facebook taken down for being racist. And you can have your fucking shit sorted out for being racist. So, if you're being racist against me being a Welsh man, a Welsh man, yeah, then sorry. Anyway. This guy wanted to know whether I've got any qualifications. He said, have you got any qualifications? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've got some qualifications. I've got A-level in art, A-level in computers, A-level, uh, O-level in computers, my basic best subject, um, O-level in art, O-level in tech drawing, O-level in history, English lit, English language, and physics. Yeah. So... Those are my qualifications. I also have some extra ones. I have um, pseudo City and Guilds equ equivalent for electronics and computers. And believe it or not, I used to teach my class how to program at school because I knew a lot more about it than they did. And the teacher just used to let me get on with it because it meant that, you know, he didn't have to teach them something that I knew a lot more about. So I used to help people with their projects and their fucking project work. And I used to tell them how to program. And strangely enough, I helped other people so much more than myself. I used to help my mates so much more right, than I used to help myself. They got better qualifications in their exam results in computers than I did, even though I taught them how to program. Figure that one out. Because I'm always doing more to help other fucking people than I am to help myself. Dot com. There we go. That's what happens when you do snuff. Makes your fucking nose run. And then you go and do some more. Bum, ba -dum, ba -bum. Great stuff. There we are. That's me. No, I'm not doing any lectures this year. 
in the UK. I have been asked whether or not I would go to the US. And I said, oh, God. Yeah, I'll do it. But you know what? Getting on a bus and going to Heathrow and getting on a plane and going to the States and getting on a bus and going to the fucking lecture. Giving a lecture. Great. People go, thank you very much. Yeah. But at the end of the day, you know, they could they could get exactly what they're getting in that lecture. They could get exactly what they're getting in that lecture by coming on my channel on YouTube and or on live stream. They could get exactly the same stuff. But, yeah, if they want me in person, if they pay my expenses, I might go. But you know what? I'll shit my pants when I go on planes because I think they're going to crash all the fucking time. So I end up having to take fucking strong things to keep my fucking head sane because I like to be the pilot in control because I know that I haven't fucking drunk or taken drugs and I'm safe to fly and I check the aircraft myself and you just don't know when you're flying in somebody else's fucking aircraft that you've not met and you don't know right you just don't know what the fuck's gonna go wrong so that's why I don't like traveling on aircraft and we all know what happens when big aircraft go wrong because when small aircraft go wrong, which has happened to me on a couple of occasions, you land them in a field and everything's okay. But when a big aircraft goes wrong, they go wow, 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 boosh. So, do I really want to go to the US and give lectures? Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah, of course I do. Anyway, thanks for watching. Goodbye.